lie.
Let me just decorate the package. Underneath. Now I get to do the bow. Probably use too much twine, but better to be safe than sorry. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I hope you've had a nice week. Um, I just thought I'd do like a little talking segment to go at the end of this video because um, there are some things that I guess I want to talk about like that happened throughout the week and some like updates and I just thought it'd be nice to actually speak properly. Um, where do I start? I guess the most exciting thing is I fell, wait let me just move this out of the way, I fell down a little rabbit hole, I discovered this band called The Midnight and it was Love at First Listen and I was like oh my god I've never listened to a band and fell in love so hard and so fast 
like that before. Um, and it was just crazy because I kind of did everything on a whim, but I don't know, like something inside of me was just telling me I needed to listen to the one cassette, which is very strange. So I kind of fell down this rabbit hole on eBay where I was looking at cassette players. And that's where I found this little baby. So she's absolutely gorgeous. I unboxed this earlier in the week. I just moved my headphones that way. These are just my gaming ones. Um, it came with earphones, but they kind of feel cheap, so I didn't even bother like using them. This is a cassette player. Uh, I have a thing for electronic devices where the case is see-through and you can see the like mechanisms of the inside. It's just a very personal preference. I absolutely love it. There's something about it that just makes me happy. <laughs> uh, so I bought this one from eBay. Th there was like a similar one. Um, let me just have a sip of my coffee. There was a similar one on Urban Outfitters. And I was wondering whether or not to get that one. But then I watched the review and the review was pretty much saying like it's not the best quality. And because it's Urban Outfitters, obviously they have to charge an arm and a leg. Because there's no reason for it being £38 except for the fact that they're just a greedy corporation. <laughs> this was like £24 on eBay, this is brand new. And it had good reviews, so I bought it. It's also a radio. I shouldn't be so excited about a physical radio, but the, like, let me put this down. When I have to, like, tune to different radio stations, I feel like a 1930s housewife listening to the radio and accidentally coming across, like, war spies using the radio to send encrypted messages that is the fantasy i have in my head when i use the radio i only have one tape and this is the the whole reason i bought this cassette player was because of the band because i was looking at their website and they did cassettes and very few times in my life do i do something spontaneous because something inside of me just is telling me this is the right thing to do i don't know why i'm making it sound like a very deep spiritual thing when it's just i bought a cassette player but uh, the cassette that i saw was the red white and bruised this is the cover and i think it comes in three different colours and it's pretty much, um, you get what you're given. <laughs> so, luckily, I got the blue one, which was my favourite. I love the blue one and the red one. I thought the clear one was kind of, uh, the most boring. So, this is what I've been listening to all week. There is something so... And I'm not like a music... connoisseur right like i wouldn't say music means as much to me as it probably does other people but oh my god like there is something so amazing about being able to listen to music in a physical format and it feels so intentional it's just so fun so I've been listening to this tape uh, all the time. I also love like flipping it to the other side. Uh, I think the B side or the second side is my favourite. My favourite songs from them are 
Sunset and Los Angeles. I think Los Angeles is my all-time favourite song by them. It just awakens something in me. But I also love Gloria, Brooklyn Friday Love, The Comeback Kid, Heartbeat. Uh, yeah, those are my favourite ones, but I love every song. <laughs> I love 80s music, and this is very much like 80s synth wave. So yeah, that's her. That's this has been the love of my life. So I wanted to talk about that because you've seen clips of it. What else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, so. I finally listed my zine. It's not on Etsy. Um, I just wanted everything on one place, and Etsy is kind of is a bit technical <laughs> personally for me. So I started a coffee or a Kofi coffee. Uh, you can support me on that if you like. Like there is no pressure to give me money or give us all the point I just thought it would be nice to have one because I do have other things I want to show and do um so on coffee in particular there is like a monthly subscription if you want to be a part of that it's called the ghoul gang and what you get is early access to any youtube video any product in the shop will be automatically free. Um, any digital pro product <laughs> will be free for um, members. And I'll also be doing blog posts weekly uh, for members, but also just anyone who supports the shop. <sighs> Drink some coffee, I'm talking too fast. So that's my coffee page. I'll have it linked below. On my coffee, I have the mood sticker sheet, a digital version. So if you want to buy that, it's on there. And I also have listed a digital version of my zine and then a physical one. And the physical one, unfortunately, is only for UK. I don't want to do it like that, but international postage is so expensive um if i were to post this it'd be classed as a large letter but for some reason even a large letter is just extortionate so i don't want to it didn't feel fair because this isn't really like a book or anything so it didn't feel fair to charge someone that much just because of how much shipping would be so Maybe one day shipping will go down. I feel bad because I feel like the the number of people that wanted this more were international people. But anyway, there is a digital version. So this is my poetry zine. Uh, it's called Living Ghost. So the idea of this is I personally feel like I go through life observing rather than living in the moment. So I sort of feel like a living ghost that's haunting the spaces I inhabit rather than actually living in the moment. And so the photos and I guess the theme is nostalgia. I want it to feel very nostalgic because I'm a very nostalgic person. I think I live way too much in the past rather than the present i it's honestly one of my fatal flaws is that i romanticize the past way too much and then i spend the present lamenting the past and then that's how i lose present time <laughs> so that is the theme of the zine and all of the Images are photos I've taken throughout the years that have just been in my camera roll and like They mean a lot to me, but 
I haven't posted or done anything with them, so I thought I could add them to the theme. So the six poems for you, Ode to the Isle of Portland, A Domestic Scene, Misfit, A Mess of Things, Confession. And then at the back, it says, Dear Reader, thank you for taking the time to read this scene. I find myself drifting through life, observing rather than living. I hope that somewhere in my poems and photography, you feel seen and understood. Life is, after all, pain, grief and hardships, punctuated with moments of stillness and pockets of peace. And it's these moments that we look back on with rose-tinted glasses and say to ourselves, maybe it wasn't so bad after all. So if you would like to read, uh, it will be listed on my coffee and I'll have that in, in the description below. And I'm really proud of it. I love all the poems that I've written. It's a bit daunting to put it out into the world, but any criticism <laughs> is not a personal attack. I just have to tell that to myself. And if you do read the poems, I just want to like put it out there that it might seem like you're reading something very personal, but I promise you, to me, after the many, 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 many edits that I do on my poetry, it doesn't feel personal, whatever the end product is, because it's been through so many edits. I like to think of it, um, imagine a raw clump of clay, and that clay is my raw emotions that I put on the page. And while I craft the poem, I'm shaping that raw clump of clay into something else. Like, I'm working on it, like, in a pottery shop. And the end product might be a vase and it looks nothing like the original raw clump of clay and that's how I describe my poetry it's yes the very first words I put on the page were very raw very private emotions but I'm crafting that raw piece of emotion into a poem that's more palatable and so if you're feeling like oh like that seems a bit personal or private, I promise you it's not, like, whatever my poems become in the end, it doesn't feel like I'm putting my diary out there. So I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> and, okay, so that's my zine. I'll bring back my planner. Talked about my Kofi, talked about the cassette, so I wrote down some things I wanted to talk about because... I do not trust that I will remember if I were to not write it down. I talked about my zine. I'm still loving this empty notebook. I filled it up like this much, so I've done some damage. And I just, I love it. I love doing this to my books. Like, I love bending it like that. I might even show you. I love bending it like that. I've done it so much that there's like cracking here now on the sticker, but I don't really mind. I just love doing it. It's, it's tactile. Um, I guess the last thing I wanted to talk about was uh, what I wanted to film next, which is, I, I'm sure many of you know Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. I absolutely love her channel and I love her. And she does this, like, style of video every month where she goes through her notebooks. So it might be, like, January in my notebooks. And she shows all the weekly pages, the journal pages. And I thought of doing something like that every month where I show you what the month looked like in my books. And... Instead of showing my journal pages, because they're quite boring <laughs> and private, obviously, I 
will show you what I also do in my commonplace or what I did in my commonplace book in the month that had just gone by. So please let me know if that's something you'd like to see. That's one of my favourite kinds of videos that Helen puts out, so I just thought, why not give that a go? I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and yeah, I hope you have a good week. And until next time, bye.